So I, I did a post yesterday on Instagram of a cube bike and I said a good bike and um, and people sort of jumped in and asked questions like, oh, well, what made you think it was, you know, why, why would you say it's a good bike and uh, oh, tell me more, blah, blah, blah. So, um, so I ended up, I uh, thought, oh, instead of answering lots of questions on, uh, on Instagram, I hate typing stuff in, you know, it's just like... I don't have thumbs like the kids do. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't work for me. But um, so I'll, I'll just do a quick video and explain some of the things I liked about that frame. So the, um, the compaction of it was really good. So it, the, the laminate was very uniform. So, um, well, to give you a bit of background for a start. So the, the owner um, had a crash. He brought it in, wanted to get it checked out. And, um, and so it had been through a crash and um and so no i um I, I can't cut that one up because i didn't find anything wrong with the bike and uh the uh, the customer wanted it back so uh, so i couldn't cut it up and do a, a full cut up review on it but um i'll go through a couple of the points um the uh as i said the laminate was was really well compacted very uniform the um the like the molding was uh, was really really consistent and even. So that's what you look for. Um, you know, you can tell that when you do an ultrasound scan, how the signal's moving around. Um, you can also tell by looking in the uh, in, in through the head tube and and through the bottom bracket, and um, you know, with the torch and you know, maybe a little angle mirror, uh, that sort of thing, um, a bore scope if you have one. Um, and so all that, uh, you know, was, was really good. Um, you know, I really, I really rate it. It's probably one of the best put together frames I've seen for a, quite a while, actually. Um, the, uh, the other thing I liked about it was the tube shapes and, um, and cross sections just made sense too, you know? So they, um, that, you know, they weren't over the top stupid shapes um that were just you know straight uniform tubes um through the lug area the you know through the, the junctions um there were nice good transitions smooth transitions and um yeah the you know it's just uh, overall you know the the bike had a good look to it um the finish was good the paint was good um, I measured the bottom bracket. The bottom bracket was it was a press fit bottom bracket, and that, that seemed to be within uh, within within tolerance. Like I, um, I I measured it with the vernis. I, 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 I don't have a a, a go no go um, you know insert or anything like that. But I I just measured it in a couple of spots with the uh, with the, with the calipers and. It all looked good, and yeah. So um, yeah, overall, I thought it was a good bike, and um, you know, it just it, it just made sense in in, in that it um, you know, and people are going to say, oh, it's you know, it's not a it's not a expensive bike. It's a it's sort of at the you know the more budget end, um, and that may be true, but it's still a good bike. Um, you know, the weight was. The frame, the bare frame was about 1,100 grams, um, you know, so it's not, not super light, um, but it's the super light ones that you lean them up against a wall and they break, you know. So uh, this, this bike just struck me as a bike that you could actually use day in, day out, and it would handle it, and, uh, and you get many years of use out of it. Um, you know, with the good, good manufacturing, you're not going to see... Uh, flaws present themselves um, you know like y y you often get um, where there's flaws where there's wrinkles etc um, voids you get uh, you know cracks appearing over time through fatigue because it's a it's a weak point in the frame so the the um, the stresses don't flow evenly but now this this bike was good um, you know, I've been thinking about some sort of scale, you know, like a rating scale, and people have asked me about that for a long time. Um, and I suppose the simplest way to say, you know, would I ride that bike? Yeah, I'd ride that bike. There's plenty of bikes which I wouldn't ride, 
but I'd ride that bike. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you again on another video soon. Okay, bye.